Um, so this is the uh, what we built. We built a time lapse dolly that's motorized and can like move in all kinds of directions. Um, and we built an app too for it, which looks like this. And you can see the camera output on our watch, which looks like this. Um, and so it's easily controllable by just like moving forward and backwards and you can turn. <laughs> and you can rotate too. So that's like zero degrees. You can go back to 180. <clears throat> and then we can go to 360, which is like the other way around. Okay. And then yeah, this and is all free mode where we can manually control it. Right. But you can also program up a path, right? Mm -hmm. So yeah, um, for the program mode. So for example, we can make it go straight in a line for like, let's say two seconds. That's sufficient. And we can control the speed too. So you want to show me that. Okay. So now let's see. I'm going to do a line. And then let me just type these in. So I'm going to type like two seconds. Speed, I'll make it like 50. That's midway. And then direction like, up for now. Oops. And then it should. So, I mean, we, ideally this would be done for much longer, like, you know, minutes at a time. And even the rotation, we could do that for minutes at a time, but we're doing it on the space. You can right. look at it again while looking at the camera. Yes. Yeah. Let's, let's now look at this. Now, now, program that same path again. Okay, ready? Yep. How I feel Good. Okay. And then, yeah, also we can do rotations and program that, so... Yeah, so right now we could demonstrate um, a rotation of... So right now it's facing at 180 degrees, so we could rotate it to face backwards towards OP. Um, and we could complete that rotation in three seconds. This doesn't work, the pick is like damaged, so or the serial cable connection. Okay, so this works. And there's... Oh, oh. Devices are and then we could take it back to its front facing mode again. I mean, I don't know if that's not so it is ideal when the time is much longer. Um, like for example, if you make it like rotate 360 degrees in like five minutes, then it looks much smoother and like you see much more going on. Uh, and that's what you record time lapses on generally. But that's just an example of what we could do. So, do you do you so you can you set the time lapse rate, the frame rate also, or is that determined by the that software on the phone, so yeah, on the phone itself? Okay. <coughs> But since we have the watch to control, I can manually take the picture at any time I want to take the picture. Oh, and I can take the whole thing like that. <laughs> Bluetooth phone. <laughs> 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 okay, thanks. Serial 